Hello everyone, this is the Fide Master Alessandro Santagati and I'm very happy to comment this today a game played by the International Master Francesco Sonis from Italy he won the European Chess Championship under age 16 and it's the first time I think that one player from Italy wins this competition so it's a very very strong very big success from the from this player so I'm very happy to comment this game today and Let's go to see it. So I, he played knight f3. He played last game against uh, uh, one player from France, uh, Johan Gatino, and he played knight f6. So Sonis is white. c4, c5, so English opening, and now knight c3. d5, c takes d5, knight takes d5, and e4. Uh, e4 is a good move because white is playing to take the center with this pawn, and but at the same time, White to pay attention about the square. In fact, black played knight b4 to attack the square d3. Um, white played bishop c4, and now black played knight d3. It's a very interesting position, but at the same time, tough position because after king e2, knight f4, and king f1, we have a position in which white lost the castle, but at the same time, white has a big advantage about development because black developed only the knight on f4, but white developed the two knights, the bishop, so white has a problem because white can't castle but at the same time white has an advantage that is the development and uh, for this reason white is completely fine in this position. Knight e6 because the knight on f4 can be under pressure by the bishop so it decided to go back with the knight and now b4. Before it's a very nice gambit in this case the idea is uh, improve his uh, development, his uh, activity with the pieces and the idea is that if black decide to take on b4 white can go with the knight to d5 and then bishop b2 and uh, w maybe rook c1 and try to attack the king try to make pressure against the black position um, I think c, c takes b4 is completely payable for black even if black has to pay attention but black decide to, do to don't accept the sacrifice and the black played g6 to develop quickly the pieces. But now white can take on c5. And then bishop g7. And now very nice move by uh, Sonis. Because in this case white decide to give the strong bishop. Because this bishop on c4 is a very strong piece. But for a good reason. The idea is that after the trade on e6 white can defend upon c5. So the simple idea is keep the center strong even if white must give the light bishop that is a strong piece. So white played d4 to defend the pawns and now bishop g4. G bishop g4 is a uh, idea to remove the, the defender and then take d4 but white defended the pawn on d4 very well with bishop e3 and then knight c6. Knight e2 okay that is simple add a defender Okay, yes, it's true. Maybe black can weaken the structure, but it's not a big problem because after g takes, maybe white has a square for the king. And his king is okay, it's not so dangerous this position for white. So it's a good play 92 and don't mind if black can take. Black played a 5, trying to make more pressure against e4. But I think it's a mistake because pushing a 5, um, he has a weakness on e6. And uh, I think um, it's not very strong disposition for black because uh, after f5 white can simply solve this problem pushing the pawn on e5 and the son is played uh, this move in this case um, now black decide to play aggressively pushing and sacrifice another pawn but uh, white took and i think white can manage can defend this position so castle and now check and okay check on b3 is very strong because white can take the square and after king h8 knight d6 is very strong because black looks forced to trade uh, but after that after the light bishop black has no counterplay for this reason black decide to sacrifice the exchange playing queen d7 and now white took the rook but i think that now the white position is completely won no nothing um I was thinking about knight d2 now for white, but it's not good because there is knight takes d4 and uh, we lose that big, very important pawn. So basically, it's not possible to avoid the, the taking on f3. For this reason, white played h3, and if now bishop takes f3 and uh, moves like 
GTX F3 and the Knight XD4. In this case, the difference is that white has rook d1, and uh, is, uh, this is good for white because there aren't other squares for the knight. Um, so, but if we play in ID2, the problem is that we block the D, the D file, so this idea doesn't work. So black can simply take on D4. Um, so white played H3, Bishop E6, and Queen C3 to defend well the pawn D4, and now black decides to to make another sacrifice. But I think the game is completely lost now. If white defend well, there is nothing that black can do, and after. So moves, white decide to counterplay, so white decide to start his attack pushing h5 and open, that is open the h-file, uh, black played b6 trying to open but white can still be taken and then continue with the plan, so black played g5 to keep the h-file closed, and now rook g1 attacking g5. Um, h6, rook g3 moving the queen away, and then nice sacrifice bishop takes g5, because if black does if black takes here, there is rook h3 and white is winning the queen and the game. So he must take, he must play another move. He decided to play knight 5 to play knight c4 and attack the king. But check and bishop f6 is very strong now. It's very strong because okay, white is trying to play rook g7 checkmate. So black has to take the bishop and then very nice sacrifice. Rook take g, rook takes g7, king takes and rook g1. King h7 and pawn takes. And again, white is threading rook g7 checkmate. And the only way to defend is give the queen with move like queen g6 or queen f7. And okay, if black is the queen for the rook, the game is lost. So white tried knight c4 check, but king c1. And now it's very nice. See that there are no checks for um, there are no checks for black. There is nothing that he can do because uh, no checks are available. So he played okay bishop g2, but it's like simple desperation because uh, if maybe white takes uh, black can have queen h1 and uh, black has counter play, but white played simply check and then next move if king g8 there is checkmate on g7 and now after queen d7 black resigns because even if black plays king g6 uh, there is um, queen e8 sorry I mean queen e8. And white can win the queen because if king g5 we have, or maybe no, I don't win the queen. White doesn't win the queen, but white can take and then f7, and white is ready to win a new queen, and so the game is completely lost for this reason. For this reason, after uh, after queen d7, black resigns and Sonis won the game in this way. Uh, this game is very interesting because there is uh, the topic of the castle. So Sonis didn't have the castle, but is okay because white has a strong. Um, development advantage. Uh, then he decided to give back, not to give back, but give a bishop, a strong bishop, for a not so very strong knight, but with the idea to have more space and defend the pawn. So you see that in this game is always uh, uh, try to have, you have an advantage, and then you trade this advantage for another advantage, and after that, slowly, slowly, then you win the game. And this happened this game and Sonis did that very very well. So I hope that you enjoyed this game and my comment and if you have questions feel free to comment below. Thank you again and see you soon for new videos. Bye!